Hi, my name is Brian Weinert and I'm the Director of Technology for Leiden High School District 212 in Illinois. And this video is meant to be an introduction to using Study Blue flashcards. It's going to be a little specific to the Leiden environment, but hopefully other teachers and students in other districts can benefit from this as well. I'm going to walk you through uh, a teacher logging into Study Blue, creating a flashcard deck, and then sharing that with their students. The first thing as a teacher that you'll need to do is add the Study Blue Chrome Web App. So from within the Chrome browser, click on your new tab, navigate to the Chrome Web Store, search for Study Blue, and then you'll have a blue button here that says Add to Chrome. Go ahead and click on that. Once it's installed, you can open up a new tab, scroll through your Chrome Web Apps until you find Study Blue, and click on it. It's great that this integrates with Google Apps, so all you have to do is click this uh, link that says Sign In Using Google. The first time that you do that, you'll get a window that pops up asking you to allow permissions. Go ahead and, and click that. And now, Study Blue has a lot of integrations with Facebook. Uh, so every time that you launch Study Blue, you'll be asked whether or not you want to post a Facebook message telling people that uh, you're busy. You could type something in here and post it, or you could say, never show me this again. Once you're in Study Blue, there are three big buttons on the home screen. Make, to create a new uh, flashcard deck. Find, where you can search for flashcard decks that have already been created and there are thousands of them in the public domain you can search either by materials which would just be by keywords or specific classes that are set up or even by specific authors of flashcard uh, decks or you could click on the study button to start studying and reviewing a flashcard deck so as a teacher creating a new flashcard deck you would click on the make button So you can see here a blank flashcard. It's got the uh, window in the top for the term and the section in the bottom for the definition. One great feature is in the term area is that you can add an image or a sound and you have some formatting uh, for the text that you add as well. So if I wanted to create a flashcard deck of Leiden's new teachers and I wanted to put their images here, I could click on Add an Image or Sound, click to choose the media, navigate to where my pictures are, choose a picture, and say Open. It's going to take a few seconds to upload. You have the ability to fill the slide with the picture or fit it, or you could remove it if it's not the one you want. You can even add some extra text. But all I want for this flashcard is the picture, and then in the definition area, I'm going to type the teacher's name. Then on the left hand side, I'm going to add a new card. Repeat the process. Add the next new teacher. And I can even type while that's loading. And then click Add Card to add the next one. And instead of uploading uh, an image you also have the ability to upload sounds just to show you how that works I'm going to go ahead and choose a file the answer or the definition is ESPN Monday Night Football and in a few seconds you'll actually see a play button appear which when somebody is studying the flashcards they would get to this card and click on the uh, play button and then the uh, sound or track would be played and again you can add another card and you can just add text and you can format that text change the color, anything that you want, and then in the bottom add your definition. 
When you're done, click Save. Note that all changes have been saved. And then click on Done. This way you'll be able to give it a title. New Leiden Teachers. Save this in your backpack. And then make sure you click on Privacy Settings. There are four different options. Public, which means that anyone with a StudyBlue account can search and find your flashcard set um, and see you as the author. Public and Anonymous is the same except that they don't see your name associated with it as the author. You can leave it private for only you or you can even password protect it so that somebody can find it but they'd have to know the password in order to use it. For this example I'm going to leave it Public and Anonymous and hit Save Changes. At the top it tells me that the changes have been saved so the last thing I need to do is share this flashcard deck with my students. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my backpack in the top menu bar. It's going to prompt me that I'm going to move away from the screen and that any changes I've made may be lost, but that's okay because I've already saved everything. From this list of my flashcard decks, I'm going to go ahead and click on the new Leiden teachers, which I just created. And then at the top, I just have to get this URL to my students. I could either post it on one of my open class course pages or post it onto my Google site if I have one. Could email it directly to the students. Any method that you choose. So now I'm going to go into my student account. And as a student, the first thing I would need to do is log into Study Blue. Now the students already have the Study Blue Chrome Web App pushed out to their Chromebooks. So if they just click on the app launcher in the bottom uh, of their screen, they should find Study Blue in their list of Chrome Web Apps that they can click on. They'll get to the exact same sign-in screen that you saw as a teacher. They'll click sign in using Google. Again, they'll be prompted the first time to allow access. And then they'll be able to choose whether or not they want to post a Facebook message. Once they've logged in, they just paste that URL that you sent them. And now they have access to your slide deck or your flashcard set. They can click on flip cards to start studying. Before they click on that, you'll also notice that they have the ability to choose how many flashcards they want to study, whether it's all up to 20 up to 10 or up to 5 and in what order they want them. When they click on flip cards they'll see one card and this one has the audio prompt. They can listen to as much of it as they need and when they think they've got it they'll flip the card and see if they were right. And then they have the got it wrong or got it right indicator. By choosing an option, they then go to the next card, flip it for the answer, indicate if they got it right or wrong, and so on through the flashcard deck. When they reach the end, they have the ability to choose to study later, and they can set an alarm for themselves or a notification, which will send them an email in whatever time they choose. So if I want to study this again in an hour, I just set a reminder that will email me at 2.31 that I need to study this again. The students will also find the ability that when they come back to study this, they can choose to study just the ones that they got wrong from the previous um, review, or they can study them all over again. So hopefully you get the idea that using Study Blue is extremely easy to create flashcard sets, easy to share with the students, and students can even create their own flashcard sets and, send and share them with their friends. There are a lot more features to go into, but this was just meant to be an introduction, so I think I'll stop here. If you need additional assistance, please make sure that you contact uh, one of your tech coaches, or if you have any questions, you can always um, get in contact with me.
Thanks for watching.